Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And today I have my August empties right here to go over with you guys. I also have a little bit of an update on my hand. If you guys, I know a lot of you guys have been wondering, so I'll give you guys that as well. So if you wanna hear about this and see all of that, then keep on watching. Let's go. So I guess it's it's up to the interpreter if the hand news is good news or bad news. I feel like it's bad news, but other people seem to think it's good news. So basically, uh, my doctor looked at the MRI and said he couldn't see anything wrong. So he said, you know, sometimes trauma happens, even though I didn't have a trauma and it just will heal eventually. So I'm going to have to go back to work. I don't know how I'm going to be on a computer for nine hours a day with this because it still hurts, but apparently one day it will be better. I don't know, I'm skeptical because my knee two years after surgery still isn't better, so I'm not the happiest with that news because I feel like nobody really helped. But we're really here to go through all of my trash, so let's just get that started and forget about this for now okay i'm going to start off with face masks first i have four sheet masks here the first one is from the pure and grinch collection uh it was a hydrating sheet mask it seemed really nice it was kind of weird that it had a grinch face on it but that was fine i used two of the pure Leafs watermelon masks i actually really like these a lot and then i used one from i guess the brand is called Jiju, and this is their pore tightening mask. I actually like this one too. I think I got that one from Yes Style. I used two eye masks. The first is the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. These are okay. I'm not overly impressed with them. I also use the Erna Laszlo Multitask Eye Serum Masks. I do like these more, but I still like the ones from Skin Iceland best. And then I had a mask dry out, and I didn't really feel that sad about it because I never really liked it. This was the Mario Badescu Rose Hip Mask. I feel like it wasn't all that great. I mean, I used like maybe a little over half of it and I did not feel sad to say goodbye. I used some makeup wipes. I finished this Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes. These are the Costco brand. I really, really enjoy these. I used this pack I got at TJ Maxx. These are the Dove Baby Wipes. I use these for hand swatches. I thought these were pretty good. And then I used this pack on my hands too. These are the Ulta Beauty Makeup Remover Wipes. I use these on my hand because I've used these on my face before and they literally make my skin burn. So these are hands only. Okay, so now I have a bunch of shower stuff and I was like very confused at first because I was like, I don't usually use this much shower stuff in one month. But because I was like sick for a full week, I was taking a lot of showers just to like clear out my system. So I feel like I used a lot more shower products than a normal month. So it was a very clean month for me. So let's start with shower gels because i have three here they're all little but it's still a lot so the first one was from waleda i think i got this in a target beauty box maybe and this is the wild rose creamy body wash this was a fine body wash however i don't think rose scented body washes are a go-to for me so i would not see myself buying this one the next one i think was a free sample from ulta this is from sweet spot labs and this is the vanilla blossom gentle wash so i think this is a a wash for your gentle lady bits however i use this as like a regular full body wash for every part of my lady and i really liked it and i was very impressed with this one the last body wash i finished this month is from soap and glory this is their sugar crush body wash and it's a lime scented body wash which I honestly really like lime and lime scented things and all that stuff. However, this sort of smelled like household cleaner. It had like that type of citrus, citrusy scent. So I don't think I'd recommend this for that reason because that was a very odd sensation to put on my body. I finished one shampoo. It's the little mini Brio Geo Scalp Revival shampoo. I've talked about this tons on my channel and I usually say it's a very expensive shampoo, but don't buy the mini. So the mini I got in a, as a, like a point reward at Sephora, but this is literally, I think $11 worth of shampoo if you buy the mini. And I think I got maybe two, two and a half uses out of it. Like there's not a lot of product in this at all. But yes, I really love this product. I have three, nope, four, four hair masks. 
because I was washing it so much, I felt like my ends were getting dried out, especially because I'm definitely due for a haircut. Like the ends are needing the masking. So the first one I used here is from Oblifica. And this is the Seaberry hair mask. I think I got this in a advent calendar last winter, but I really liked this one a lot. I don't know where you buy it, but it was really good. And then I used three little foil packets of hair masks. So I used two from Garnier Fructis. I had the goji extract and the coconut extract. I think these are both really nice. They're affordable and you only need to leave them in for a minute if you're in a rush. I also used this one from Tresemme. This is the Keratin Smooth, the deep smoothing mask. I actually got two full uses out of this packet. So that's not very common with me with foil packets, but I really thought this one was awesome. I liked this one a lot. I also finished two mini conditioners. My hair got a lot of conditioning this month. This first one is from Paul Mitchell and this is the Detangler Super Rich Conditioner. I feel like, I think this is like something Scott got at a hotel and brought home with him because I definitely don't remember getting this. It was okay, I definitely wasn't overly impressed with it. I did like this one though. This is from Purology and this is their hydrating conditioner. I don't think I'd go out and pay for this brand full price, but I do often see the brand at TJ Maxx, so it's something I would definitely consider. I have two candles that I finished. The first is my final one from Chesapeake Bay Candles. I have said in the past that I'm not overly impressed with the throw that these give, and I'd much rather, you know, get the Bath and Body the Bath and Body Works ones for half the for half price than pay full price for these. But I did not like this. This was teak wood. This literally smelled like a man's cheap cologne. Like that is what I felt like. My office smelled like every time I would like this. This last one I have to be careful with because I broke the glass, but I finished another Island Margarita from Bath and Body Works. I broke it because I bought a wax warmer and I wanted to like use the remaining wax in here. So I froze it and like scraped out the wax. But when I did that, I totally like broke the actual glass, but I'm trying to conserve leftover wax with this wax warmer, so we'll see how that works. But this is my second time using the Island Margarita scent and I really do like it. The scent is Sweet Mandarin Island Mango Sea Salt with Essential Oils. So I really like this one. I have a few items in the random category. This first one came from an Allure Beauty Box. These are the Vita Liberata Organic Tan Infused Cloths. So it came with two and I found that two of these covered my full body. So it was like half a body per wipe. However, my hands turned orange using this. <laughs> like even though I washed my hands after tanning, I still had orange hands after using it. And I don't think it's something I could use with a tanning mitt because it's like a cloth that I needed to like be able to use the cloth. So I don't know, like it definitely worked, but it had its flaws. I also, well, with Scott, used the Neutrogena Body Mist SPF 70. We got this, I got this because of Tati. I don't know, I wasn't superly, overly, superly, overly, words, uh, impressed with this sprayer. I just felt like it wasn't all it was hyped up to be. And like, it was really, I don't know. I don't know if I'd rebuy it. Maybe if it was on sale, but I don't think I'd just like go out and repurchase this one. I also finished one of my deodorants, my men's degree Cool Rush, because this is the only thing that works on me. Finished a bunch of facial products. So I have a whole bunch of foil packets here I can talk about. I used the Olay Whip uh, moisturizer. I've used a bunch of these in the past and I really do like this moisturizer a lot. I also used the Alginus Eye Renewal Balm. I've used one or, I've gone through one or two tubs of this before and it's like in the middle for me when it comes to eye balms. It's like not my favorite, but I don't think it's like the worst. So it's right in the middle for me. I used this from Dermalogica. This is the Multi Vitam Power Firm. This, I just remember being a very thick feeling and having a very intense scent. I used two serums from Ofra and I actually really liked both of them. One is just vitamin C and the other one is vitamin A and C but they both were really nice. Oh, after like, has it been a year? Maybe it's been over a year, a year and a half. Finally finished the Physician's Formula Cucumber Eye Depuffer. This did nothing, I don't think, but I was just like so determined to use it and it won't roll up anymore, so it is done and I can say it's over. I used a bunch of little serums this month. This first one's from number seven and this is the Early Defense Glow Activating Serum. I think this is the second time I've used this product. I would say it's okay. I don't think it's that amazing. I kind of feel that way about all of these serums actually. 
So this is the Bare Mineral Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion Serum. Again, I've used this before and it's just okay. This is probably my favorite one I used. This is from Frey? Free? I don't really know. Revive Me Deep Replenishing Serum. I did actually like this one. It was a little bit thicker, so I liked it. Then I also used this one from Clarence, and this is the Pore Control Serum. This one was very, very heavily fragranced, so I would not recommend it. I finished this oil from Revolution Skincare. This was their CBD oil, and this was actually okay. I would definitely say it was an okay serum. I used it every morning, and I thought it was okay, but I don't think I'm going to repurchase it. Finished two facial moisturizers. The first one is from Firsty Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Cream, which I have used before, but this was the grapefruit scented one, which is weird because it smelled like a vitamin C serum because they scented it. So it almost felt like I was putting a vitamin C product on me, but it wasn't. So that was kind of weird. Oh. Oops. That's what happens when I do things with my left hand because I'm so right-handed. I also used this. This was the Shiseido Essential Energy Moisturizing Cream. This was so heavily fragranced that it like made me feel sick. Oh my God, yeah, it's like, I could have probably scraped a little bit more out of there, but it was a scent that lingered and it smelled like perfume on my face. And it was not for me. And I finished two little facial SPFs. The first one is from Dr. Dennis Gross and this is the Dark Spot Sun Defense Sunscreen SPF 50. This is a really nice sunscreen, however, it is an extremely white cast. So if you do not want a white cast sunscreen, do not get this one because this one is very white casty. In comparison, the other one I finished is the Unseen Sunscreen from Supergoop. This is a clear sunscreen, so you will not get that white, that white cast. This is the second one of these I've used and I really do like this a lot. I also finished a lip balm. This is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm. They have since reformed, like, it's, that's all that's left, and I can't really, like, do, use it without, like, the side scraping my lips, so, I really did like this, however, I do know they've reformulated, so, this formula doesn't exist anymore, so, there's not really much I can say to it, I guess. I went through my mascaras, and I had a lot that had dried up, because it's been a while since I really, like, cleared out the kitchen, and, uh, I can show you what we got here. The first one is from Lorac, and this is the Royal Treatment Primer and Mascara Duo. I got this in my first ever Boxy Luxe, and I really did like it. I think it's an awesome mascara. So the primer side is blue, and then it has like a nice wand for the regular mascara. However, when I typically get ready for work in the morning, I don't use a primer. So I was never reaching for this because I was like, oh, I don't want to ever, I don't want to do those two steps. So I wouldn't repurchase this because I know that I wouldn't get the right usage out of it for how much it costs. I sadly finished a roller lash, don't worry, I have more in my backups, but this roller lash has finally been used up and it's time for a new one. I finished a Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is the second or third one of these I've used up. I think I'm at the point where I just don't think Tarte's mascaras are worth the money. Like I think there are better ones out there and I don't think I'm going to use this one again. This one, I just recently opened. This is the Ico Sport Waterproof Mascara. This one was like dried up after like a couple uses, I felt like. So I don't know if that's speaking to the formula or if there's not a lot of product in here, but as far as waterproof mascaras go, I don't think this is the best one I've tried. This one I used in my last margarita makeup video. This is the YSL The Shock Mascara. This is not the one I used in that video. That was a new one. This is an old dried up one. I do really like this mascara, but it is very expensive. So I don't think I'd buy it full price, but like if Sephora has it as a promo or like a reward point item, I definitely would pick it up again. I also finished the Dior Show Pump and Volume Mascara. Again, I feel the exact same way as I do with the YSL one. If Sephora has it as a point perk again, I'll definitely get it, but I'm not going to be buying it. I used up this tiny little primer from Tarte. This is the Quench Hydrating Primer. I really like this. It's a very nice, like, moisturizing primer. It kind of feels like you're putting water all over your face. It's nice and lightweight. I can't believe I finally finished this, but this is my Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I feel like if the bottle wasn't clear, I would feel more accomplished, but like you can see that there's stuff still stuck to the side, but nothing comes out. But yep, this guy's empty. I have plenty of backups of this. The same can be said about my Catrice Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. I have plenty of backups of this as well. So 
I think this is the third bottle I finished of this stuff, so I really love it. And yeah, that was what I was able to finish up this month. I don't know how often you're gonna see me with this on versus without this on. It might be back and forth, I really don't know. I haven't really come up with a plan yet about what to do going forward with this. But yeah, that is it for this month's empties. Let me know if you guys had similar experiences as me with some of these products. Leave a comment down below and let me know. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.